Well, good morning. I realized that on this Friday, um, my Sabbath, usually I take Sabbath on Fridays, and this morning I am spending part of my Sabbath with you, uh, meaning i am been praying for you, been praying for your families. And as I was thinking about a Zoom call I was able to be on earlier this week when Tim Keller gave a wonderful teaching on burnout. I realized that in my life, my 37 years of ministry, there were two times in my life that I experienced what would be known as clinical burnout. And in this short teaching that Tim does on burnout and resilience, I realized that both of those times that I experienced clinical burnout were directly connected to catastrophic things going on. And so I, I'm thinking about you all, and I'm thinking about each of us, and I'm thinking about all that we not only are going through right now, but are going to need to be going through in the coming months and maybe a couple of years. And so it may not be right this minute, it may be later today, it may be tomorrow, uh, but, but I hope that you would very much consider spending 20 minutes listening to this teaching that Tim does. And consider in your own life those patterns which I wish I had learned years ago and would have kept me from at least the two clinical burnouts that I went through. I've learned them now and I'm thankful to say that I feel very confident that I won't ever have to go through a clinical burnout again. But if you haven't learned them and if you haven't pressed them down into your life, now would be a great time. He uses a great analogy in his teaching about how when we're on airplanes, this, the steward or stewardess tells us that if the oxygen mask falls down, we need to put it on ourselves before we put it on anybody next to us like a child or an older person. It's a great analogy to realize for us in ministry that we've got to put our oxygen masks on first or else we're not gonna be able to put it on the one sitting next to us. You know I love you and you know I'm praying for you. And I just close with a few words from Lamentations. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. I'm praying for you praying for each of your services this weekend. Bless you.